it's Alex here from alexfigures.com and today I have another mouth strip review. This time we're looking at the Sleepy Strip. This is an, another Australian company actually um, with quite a unique design uh, mouth, mouth taping strip. Sleepy Strip with the, the emphasis on the Y. If you, if you check out the packaging or the logo there, you will see the uh, shape of the mouth strip right in the middle there because that's how this mouth strip looks and works. It actually comes right up under the nose and all the way down. It's quite a quite an interesting design and it's quite bulky. Let me show you exactly what I mean. I've been using this for a couple of weeks now. See what I mean? It's quite large, right? I've been using this for, actually I think I only used this for about two weeks because to be honest, um, it didn't perform very well and I had all information and experiences that I needed to create this review. So if you're new here to this channel or you haven't seen my other videos, um, be sure to have a look because I have filmed maybe four or five reviews now on mouth strip products um, and I've scored them all based on a five point or five round uh, scoring system that I've put together. Once I've tested as many of these uh, mouth strips as possible, I'll be sitting down and doing a big comparison and helping you find the best one uh, for your budget and for your needs. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to run the sleepy strip through that scoring system. I'm going to score it on all things, uh, how well it sticks, safety, price, my other thoughts and feedback. So uh, let's get into it. So first things first, what do you need to know about this company and the product? Like I said, the uh, company is called Sleepy Strip. You can um, find out more and purchase their products at sleepy, sleepystrip.com. The tagline reads, Sleepy Strip encourages nasal breathing. It is safe, effective, and helps you to breathe better while you sleep. Remember, these videos aren't about um, nasal breathing uh, in particular or the science and theory behind it. Well, not that it's the theory, but the science behind it. Uh, you can look into that on with other videos um, or check out the work from uh, Patrick McCowan. He's got a great book on, on this topic. Instead, what these videos are about are testing all the products out there to see which one works best. But in a nutshell, the Sleepy Strip assists with snoring, sleep apnea, dry mouth, better sleep, optimal cell oxygen levels and increase, increased energy levels. Well, sounds good because mouth breathing at night can impair all of those things. I've been, I've been mouth taping for years now and this is why I wanted to um, test all these products to see which one is, is the best and which one is the worst. Now, let's get straight into uh, the scoring system. So first up we have stickability. How well does this product stick? Now let me apply one uh, to see, so you know exactly how it does look and how, um, how it performs. So it simply comes under the nose like so, close your mouth, stick it down. There we go. Now, as you can probably see, it does stick well. In fact, I've got a couple of hairs on the, um, on the adhesive as I pulled it off there, which was not too pleasant. So it does stick well. The problem with it though is it's hard to get a good seal, a, a good stick. And I think it's because it's so big and also because of my facial hair. That's a big problem. We're going to talk about application and whatnot a little bit later in this video. Firstly though, I just want to focus on how well does it stick. So yes, it does stay on all night and yes, you probably, well, you can use it a second night. The problem is, the problem is it's hard to get a good seal because of the size and everything like that. And I found on the second night, um, you could use it, but it wasn't ideal. It was like some other products like Somnifix, for instance, you can easily apply that a second night and it's almost as good as new. This wasn't as good as new, but you could push it for a second night. The problem was though, it's not the best seal on the first night because of those reasons I just mentioned. Because I can get a good seal, even though it sticks really well, I have to give it a four out of five for stickability. Next up, we look at safety. Uh, is it safe to use? Does it allow some mouth breathing? Can you remove it in a hurry? Are there any other concerns? Um, I couldn't find out much about the adhesive on here, but I wore this for a week or so. Well, not this particular one. I was using this for a week or two and I never had any irritation, which usually happens when I use regular band-aids and that. So it must be a hypoallergenic um, adhesive, which is good. Uh, yes, it, the vents on the front there do allow mouth breathing. In theory, it's good to have a little bit of mouth breathing. So um, in case you do get congested in the nose or you know something happens and you need to take a breath through the mouth or you're not used to mouth, uh, nose breathing and you're using this as a way to transition. The problem is though, I found these, these little vents to be a little bit big. But again, I'll get to this. I'll get to that in the practicality section. So yes, it is safe. Um, 
The main thing is though, you've got this tab at the bottom here. Down the bottom here, you have a few millimeters where there's no adhesive. So that, that little section at the bottom doesn't stick. It just sort of hangs there. So you can quickly grab that and peel it off. Now, I, I like those things like Somnifix has that. I'm um, trying to think what the other one, I can't remember all the other names now, all the other uh, strips I've been testing because these test because I've been testing this for, for two months now. But um, some of them have them, some of them don't. It's, it's probably one of the best safety features out there. Well, you could say the vents are as well. But the fact that you can quickly grab it and rip it off is great. Problem is, uh, I'm hesitant to do that. Uh, if I wake during the night and you, you need to talk or you need to take a, uh, a glass of water or a gasp of air, you, know, you can do it. The thing is, I'm hesitant to do it because of all the coverage it has on my facial hair. I know it's going to hurt. As you saw before, when I pulled it off, there were two hairs stuck to it. But the good thing is... Um, it's got all the safety features built in. There's very little risk of choking with this. Like, I, I don't know how you'd get something this large to come off in, into your mouth. Um, got the air vents there, and it's very easy to pull off. So for those reasons, um, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 for safety. All right, next up, we looked at practicality. How well does it stop your mouth breathing? Which is why you're buying these products, right? To be honest, not very well. In fact, I'm only going to give it a 2 out of 5 for this section. Um, unfortunately... More times than not, I would wake or find in the morning that I was still mouth breathing while using this. Now, I think I'm quite a bad mouth breather, despite using these tapes one for years. A lot of people use them and it sort of retrains the body to the point where they don't need to use the mouth strips anymore. I'm definitely not like that. Like, if I don't have anything on me, I go straight back to mouth breathing. And even if I have something on me that doesn't work well, I go back to mouth breathing. And this fits that exact scenario. I would wake during the night and I knew I was mouth breathing. I would wake up in the morning with a dry mouth, a bit of a headache, like all the symptoms I, that the sleepy strip is meant to address and I know like a good mouth strip will address, I'm still having those issues. And I think that's simply because, it, two things. One, it's kind of hard to get on. It's such a large strip, like some effects, uh, mouth tape, you know, from Band-Aid, you just put it straight over the lips, good to go. This, you need to get all your positioning right. If you put it too high, this strip over here, over the lips, is going to be too high. If you put it too low, it's, you get that little dip in the middle. Um, but for me, it's the facial hair because a lot of the stickiness is, is stuck, protruding, protruding almost on the facial hair. You don't get a good seal on the lips. Um, so if I if I was clean shaven, I think it would be a whole other story. But for me, I wasn't getting a good seal. Let me show you. See, I've kind of kind of gone a little bit high and I can get quite a bit of movement there with the lips. I mean, I can talk quite easily there, right? Um, but it also means I can open my mouth quite a lot. And as you notice, I don't know if you can really see it side on, but it's quite easy to move the lips because it's not a tight seal across here and down here. It's almost like I should put it this way. And then I get a good seal. So. Yeah, that's why I've got to give it two. Application can be tricky because of the size. I think the vents are too big, which we want that stickiness and application on the lips. You've got those massive vents there, so you lose a lot of the like rigidity and, and, and stickiness application across the lips. So you're not getting a good seal. You're not speaking the seals. You're not getting a good seal because of the facial hair. And again, it might be different for you or or a female. The funny thing though, if you look at the back of the packet, it actually says you can make some cuts for a lighter application, uh, lighter coverage, sorry. Um, so if you see here, see how it shows you can make some cuts down here? And they say you can do this for lighter coverage uh, and obviously get a better fit and all that. Funny thing is, I think by making the cuts, I would get, a, I would get better coverage because I w I'd have less up here on the, where my facial hair is and less down here and more on the skin and lips and, and hence get a better seal. Problem is though, like, I don't, I don't want to be having to make cuts. Like, I just want to buy a product and, and put it on at night. Like, you know, you're doing this every night and it may seem, you may think, oh, I can easily make some cuts. But in all honesty, once you've been using these for a few weeks or months or years even, you want something that's super simple without, you know, you don't want to be fussing around. Especially if you wake up and the night's falling off and you've got to get another one or, you know, reality kicks in and you just want something simple. And the other thing, if you think, oh, you can just cut them all beforehand and, and um, pre-cut them, it won't take you a few minutes. Well, you can't really. Because these strips come individually wrapped, right? 
each one. It's like a medical band-aid, sterilized band-aid. So I, I suppose you could line them all up. No, you couldn't. I was gonna say you could line them all up and cut them in the wrapping, but you couldn't because they're all sitting in different locations. So you've got to cut each one individually, which is just super time consuming and also super messy. And we're gonna talk about mess later on. All right, now we look at price. How much does one of these strips cost? Well, well, I got a pack of 30 for $24, 24 US dollars. That works out to be one strip per, for 80 cents, which is on the higher price side, to be honest. You can buy multiple packs, so if you buy six packs, it works out to be about 71 cents a strip or a pack. And uh, you can even buy 25 packs, which is 750 strips. Like that's, you know, two, three years worth, which is crazy. And, um, but even if you do that, you're only saving four cents on the six pack deal, which brings the price down to 67 uh, cents per strip, which is still, you know, on the higher end, which is a bummer. And yes, you can use these multiple nights, maybe two, um, three, even if you didn't have facial hair, if you really wanted to. So of course that's gonna bring the price down. But at 80 cents per strip, if you get in one pack at a time, that puts it, in quite a bad position from a price point of view, from a value point of view. In fact, based on my scoring system, we're only getting a two out of five here for uh, the sleepy strips in the scoring round. So another bit of a bummer uh, overall yeah, with the sleepy strips. Now in the last round, we look at everything else. So here we're looking at appearance, uh, application, mess, can you talk with it, travel friendly, all those other good things. I've already touched on a lot of these, so you probably know, where, you probably know where, what I'm gonna say here. Um, but it does fall short again. So firstly, let's look at appearance. Let me put it on again. It's stupid. I mean, come on. <laughs> I mean, all of these, to be honest, are stupid. Like, none of them look, you, none of them you're gonna put on and think, wow, you look good wearing that. They all look ridiculous in some way. But it's how, ridi how ridiculous does it look? Is it, you know, could you wear this when you're flatting or if you have friends staying over and you get up in the night and they see you, like, how embarrassed are you gonna be? But yeah, just the size and the shape and everything, I can't give it a point for appearance. So zero out of one for appearance. Ease of application. I'm gonna give it a zero here as well because look, this is what you start with. You start with a sealed packet, okay? So let me show you. You go to bed, you wanna get one of these out. All right, you gotta open it up. You gotta find the right end. There's only one end. You gotta play around with it. All right, you pull this open. All right, you get all of that. Now you've got this. Now you gotta find the back of this because there's backing paper on here. You can only do it from one end. You gotta peel that off. You've got a few mills to play with. You got that. All right, now you gotta try and put it on. And as I said before, you gotta get the height right and all that. And yes, you could cut it. So if you were gonna cut it, you'd have to get your scissors out, cut it, cut it, cut it. Of course, you'd probably cut it before you take the backing paper off. And then you put it on. Now, if you've got facial hair, like I said, you're not getting a good seal. So many steps involved and you're still not getting a good seal. That's why I'm not giving it a point here for um, application. It's just, yeah, not ideal. Next up, we look at mess. And again, you can probably tell, uh, I'm not giving it the point here. You have this bulky piece of plastic and paper. You have the wrapping paper, sorry, the backing paper. Then you have any of the offcuts if you're trimming it. And then of course, you've got these lying around if you're you know, getting up in a hurry and you just throw it on your bedstand, which is typically what I do. And a few days later, you're like, oh my God, my room's a mess. So yeah, it, I can't give it a point for the mess front here. It could be done so much better. I don't know if it really needs this individual sealant pack. I mean, it could just, could just come on this, right? Like, anyway, I don't know what's up with it. Next up, we have talking. How well can you talk through it? Well, let me show you. Yes, you can talk through it. It's not ideal. You can see there it's still starting to come off. It's quite frustrating. You can talk through it, um, which is good. You know, I, li I do like the fact that you can communicate a little bit through it. Like you wake up and your wife is having a nightmare or you got to run out to your kid and I don't know. Um, just the fact knowing you can talk. It's not great, but hey, you can. And remember, these are really easy to pull off as well. So that's a good plus. So I'm, I'm going to give it the point for talking. Finally, uh, what, are, what about travel? Are these travel friendly? Yes and no. I mean, hey, if you go away for a couple of nights, you just pack a few of these. But um, they're messy, they're quite big, they're noisy, they're bulky in a way. So, unfortunately, no. I'm not going to give you the point for traveling. So, for this other round, everything else round, you're going to get a 1 out of 0. So, not the best score. Overall, we have a total score of 14 out of 25. I think that may actually be the lowest score yet, which is a bummer. I mean, even the Band-Aid uh, paper tape 
perform better than this, the, the specialized sleepy strip product. So yeah, bit of a blow. Definitely not something that I'm going to keep using. Like I said, I actually cut my, re my experiment review experiment short because it, I just knew it just wasn't working. It was just becoming more frustrated. So um, yeah, maybe not the best pick of the bunch yet. If you'd like to see more of these videos, um, be sure to subscribe and also check out the other videos I've already done because I've tested quite a few of these and I'll be doing a big comparison at the end. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. If you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If there's another mouth taping product you'd like me to review that I may have missed, uh, leave that below as well. Alright guys, I'm signing out. Bye.